That's not good. If you can't kick it off, grind it off. Today we're going to be taking and changing a tie rod on this, this tire. Um, there's a lot of play and a lot of thing. For now I'm just going to do the tie rod. I got it up on the jack stand. I got to take the tire off next. And uh, we'll get to the tie rod itself. Got a lot of play front and back and side to side, so tie rod, I know it's bad. There's another coupling up there. I'll get that next week. But, yep, just take the wheel off. That wow, was very uneventful. Wow. Okay. All right. Here is tie rod. I don't know if you can see that from here. We'll get a just a closer look. Uh, yeah. There's a tie rod right there. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you count the threads and stuff. I'll probably have to get some PB blaster and get that off. But. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to take and move that with my hand. I don't know. That looks a little, uh, worn out. And I know I gotta get this thing here fixed. Probably this piece here. But it's mostly just this. <sighs> if there's other pieces in here, great. You know? I think it's probably going to be mostly just that. Let me move, remove this with one hand. Yep, that's going to be a lot of the play right there. For now, that's what I'm going to replace. Got this little metal piece here. Pinch them together and pull it out. And you take this nut off. And then it'll pop down. And then we'll take this off too. I gotta figure out what range goes for that. Now you need a size 18 metric, and that'll do this nut right here. And this nut right here needs to be something bigger than 18. Uh, I didn't have one, but once I break this and pop it down, I should be able to take a vice grip and just turn that. But what we're gonna do next, not sponsored, but we're gonna get this can of big old big shot of blaster. And I'm gonna spray it right on that nut. Get this in your eyes or anything. And don't get it on the brake pads or whatever. Just do a straight shot. If you can't aim, get closer. That ought to do her. take <laughs> check this out <sighs> Ew. look how bad it is wow I'm gonna take and put the pipe wrench right up here and tighten it try to get some more get some more leverage that won't be on video though four five Six, 
three, my three turns. What I ended up having to do is take and rotate the shaft, the uh, inner tie rod, and put the uh, the bolt upside down and press it down on the nut just to break the outer tie rod loose in order to get it off. Now, here's the new tie rod end, and it has a little little butt plug for the grease insert. Gotta get it in too. <clears throat> for the AC Delco, I'm using five sixteenths wrench and I got it on. Now take and put this back on. Thread it back on. take the nut off and that uses the 18 millimeter on it as well one that was two three all right I don't know if I like that looks or not Give it a good tighten. Put the nut on. And tighten the nut down if possible. And we'll tighten this up. And do the next side. Check your tire. It don't move. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this helped you. I don't know if it did or not. But, uh, Kind of gives you an idea of some tools you need. 18, mil 18 millimeter wrench, three quarter inch wrench, pipe wrench or something, grab onto that nut, some PB blaster or whatever. A lot of patience. And after you get this done, you need to take and get this, uh, do some alignment because it's store it is a business and have that done. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.